Hi guys, this is a new video of introduction to parallel programming and we're still talking about triple parallelism and still talking about integration. So let's let me introduce a new rule to a better and more precise integration. This is called Simpson's rule. This is even a more precise method than the trapezoidal method that we uh, see in the last video. This time, the Simpson rules tell us that we, instead of taking a trapezoidal or a rectangle portion, we make a little parabolic portions uh, for, our, for our function to integrate. So, we have three, three main uh, points, the initial point, the final point, and a new middle point. That's going to help us calculate the integration, and uh, it is defined in the following way. So, according to Simpson's rule, the integration is the width of the rectangle multiplied by the following uh, portions. So, I think it's easy to demonstrate how this calculation is done. Anyway, we can find it on the internet. Just Google it and we have our, our answer. The main topic here is that uh, this is a better and more precise method to make an integration. And we're going to see how we can decompose using our method that is in our code we have a big array each one represents one interval of x right so and rectangle and trapezoidal rules we were using each value of the array of the uh, F8 or FB function, right? But this time we have the midpoint FXC. So the easiest way is to use three consecutive position arrays for calculate this integral. So the first one is going to be F8, FXC, and FB. So we have to be very careful with this because if we initially said that we want one million partitions, we are just using a half of it. Why? Because we are using three points for do to do what we used with two points before. I hope it's clear that. So let's see how will be our final formula for this integration. Again, remember b minus a is equal to delta x and integration will be So finally we see that it's the sums of, again, the initial and last value of our in interval domain, the only ones, and this time we have iterative values for the first value four times, for the second value two times, for the third value four times, and the next two, and the next four, and so on. So this is the best method to calculate an integral and let's see some code 
So let's see this code. Just like the previous videos, we are using the same code and just changing a few lines. In the for part, that is the, the mainly part for this parallel program. Again, we have the x value and the y value. That is a function that are quarter, quarter circle. And again, if you remember, the first and last value are just one time the function of this of the the portion of that and the the values that are out are four times and that even two times that is in the code another line that we must be very careful is the line where we, when we are multiplying by four but remember that this time it's uh, divided by 6, so we must uh, reform our calculations. Also, remember that we are using three points to do the parable of Simpson. So, remember if W were our, our width of the rectangles, we are using two times this width. So, this width this width will be two times. That means that for the main formula, it will be. Let me write to be more clear. We have that. This is going the total value multiplied by four. But uh, the code, the Simpson formula was divided by six. So and this is multiplied by 2 because of the width that is 2 times the W that we are declaring here. So, making the, so doing the solution of this for of this operation give us the, this value. That is why it's 4 times be divided by 3. I hope it will be clear. So anytime, anyway, you just uh, rewatch the the previous part when we were were expanding a formula for symptoms, and you you're going to see that we we are declaring three points. In the three points, there are two times the width of the rectangles that we used to work. So the new width is going to be two times the width the previous rectangle. So let's see how this code runs and compare the error. So we are compiling the Simpson program and we're going to execute it. Again with two nodes, the Simpson program and the number of intervals, 10 millions. And let's see. The time is that zero nine with two with three processors. It's much less. Zero seven. Well, not much less. It's less. And with four processors, oh, there's not much difference. Yeah, there is not much difference. Now let's compare the error. This is for Simpson with 10 million intervals. Ah, let's remember this. 10 million intervals is just, but it's the half for Simpson because we are using two times the width of the interval. So we're, we are using 10 million intervals, but in fact it's uh, 5 million intervals. So we're going to put 20 million intervals. Okay, so we have an error and we're going to compare it with 10 million intervals of trapezoid. We're going to compare the errors. We can see that this much, much precise Simpsons rule that trapezoidal rule. Uh, in the next video, we're going to, to see some 
more interesting topics to to do trivial parallelism and I hope you like these applications. So this is all for now, hope you like it and goodbye.